Hey, this is Paul from Polyverse Music, and welcome to a workflow demo of our newest plugin, Infected Mushrooms Gatekeeper. Gatekeeper is a volume modulator capable of creating sequenced volume patterns, MIDI gates, stutter effects, pseudo sidechain effects, plan dynamics, creative gain clipping, and much, much more, but for the purposes of this video, let's start with the basics. Right now, I have a standard, ordinary pad playing in the background. Let's bring up Gatekeeper and use the Paint tool to start creating a nice rhythmic pattern. Cool. As a reminder, here's what we started with. And now, with Gatekeeper. Alright, let's audition some drums now. This drum kit is fine, but it could use a little extra punch. Let me bring up this preset we made earlier. As you can see, the curves of this envelope match the contours of the drummer's audio. Once again, hear the drums without Gatekeeper. And hear the drums with Gatekeeper. Here, we're using Gatekeeper in place of a compressor. While some compressors tend to exaggerate hi-hats, we can actually draw in an adjustment here to keep things sounding more natural. This is a great technique for dialing in a specific groove or feel that you're going for. Speaking of groove, I've sent this over to a reverb track. Here's what that sounds like. Yup, it's a giant verb. <laughs> but with Gatekeeper, I can use it to make a reverse snare effect. Like this. I can also add in some ghost notes for extra flavor. Okay, now it's time to move on to bass. Yeah, that's a pretty funky bass, but not funky enough. You know what that means? Throw some gatekeeper on there, please. Better. But we can still do better than that. Let's use boost to give it more personality. This is where the sample fast accuracy of Gatekeeper really shows its strength. You can add dynamics down to the exact sample you want. I've enabled clip mode here to tame those extreme volume spikes. Sounds pretty dope to me. Here it is in context. And here's the bass again without Gatekeeper. Great, so all of our channels here have benefited from Gatekeeper so far. Let's see what else we can do. I have a phasing string pad here, pretty standard. Ah, you know what happens next. Let's bring Gatekeeper to add some energy to it. This setting we made earlier has some cool articulation patterns in it, combined with our included ping pong delay for extra movement. We need a melodic element. Here's a flute. Yeah, needs more Gatekeeper. This time, I'm gonna use Gatekeeper as a MIDI controlled effect. I have a pre-composed MIDI sequence here that will trigger Gatekeeper to perform at specific times. Like this. I've enabled loop here so that the notes will be sustained when the trigger is held. 
I've also added a boost to the beginning of this envelope so that there's a little bite to the start of each note. And finally, I've adjusted the input and output knobs in combination with soft clip to balance out the way I want everything to sound. All right, it's time to wrap it up and bring it all home. I'm gonna use Gatekeeper here as a pseudo sidechain effect on everything but the drums to give the track a little more depth. Again, here's the before. And after. The effect is subtle here, but you can definitely feel an increased sense of movement. Finally, on the master channel, I've made this envelope that follows the contour of the entire arrangement. Wherever the overall signal was louder, I used Gatekeeper to reduce it a bit. This makes Gatekeeper behave like an extremely accurate compressor. Take a listen to how much gain this technique creates. Once again, here's the before. And here's the after. What I've demoed for you here is just a handful of techniques available to you with Gatekeeper. For more tips and tricks, take a look at this playlist of videos from Infected Mushroom and see how they use Gatekeeper in their projects. And as always, if you have any questions about the plugin, get in touch with us at polyversemusic.com support. Thanks for watching.